Hi, I'm Ranger Laurel. I'm standing here on the grounds of Sagamore Hill National Historic Site, and today I'd like to tell you a little bit about this structure that we see here, Edith's Respite. In 1886, Edith and Theodore moved into Sagamore Hill and lived here throughout their entire lives. Edith was fully in charge of running the household affairs, which everybody benefited from, as T.R. was absolutely terrible with his money. Edith would pinch pennies, hunt for bargains, and try to get T.R. to stick to a budget. She would put $20 into T.R.'s pocket for the day when he went to work, but by the end of the day, he wouldn't be able to tell her what he had done with it. Edith would pay the bills, balance the family's finances, establish menus and shopping lists, and manage the staff of about 12 people, all while simultaneously raising six rambunctious children, Ted Jr., Kermit, Ethel, Archibald, and Quentin, along with her stepdaughter, Alice. I don't know about you, but I'm tired just thinking about all of the responsibilities Edith had. Edith was an avid reader, and she loved to take a book or two out to the spot where she could get away from the duties of the house, relax a bit, and read, while still being close enough to the children and workers if they should need her. Edith was a very busy woman, whose ability to manage the household and her children allowed Theodore the ability to pursue all of his ambitions. Next time you visit us here at Sagamore Hill, be sure to take a rest here at Edith's Respite and get away from all your worries, if only for a few minutes. <laughs>